Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Marcus here again. Woke up this morning, naturally, with the telly, and I saw this lady crying. It was a news program. She was crying because she, I think, she has a kid in school in Tennessee. I might be wrong about the location, but she had a kid in school and he was going to a party Friday night. And Friday night, 10 o'clock, he has not been seen since. And you know the imagination, how it works, especially when you got kids that things aren't happening routinely like they usually do. And you know something's wrong. And oh man, I saw these tears and the tears in my heart start flowing. I feel so bad about that because I can imagine every parent that has a kid someplace else in school are thinking about that happening to them. And the same kinds of things when you think about the kids who uh, invaded with some crazy person in high school, elementary school, at a park or at a party. Hey, man, just decide that it's time to do some dangerous stuff. That bothers me. I'm so sad that these kinds of things can happen. And yet, we have been given the opportunity to make choice. You know, if somebody said, okay, I'm going to wave a magic wand and you won't be able to ever lie, you won't be able to ever cheat, you won't be able to ever steal, you won't be able to ever hate, you won't be able to ever be a racist or a bigot or want to go into war or anything like that, I'd wave the magic wand and set you over here. That has a special, I mean, that's something special about that, you, this group, that have been magically warned. Okay, so you take another group and you put them over here just like these were, but you don't wave the magic wand. You just let them live, experience their living, and make choices in their living and decide what they are going to re restrict and what they will allow. And there are those who will restrict that which is not pleasant. And they might end up looking as if they're the ones that had the magic wand. The only difference is one had, a, had something happen to them magically. <clears throat> the other, something happened to them spiritually. Someone say, well, which one would you prefer? The one who had it done magically or the one who had it done spiritually? Each one is going to do exactly what you want them to. But here's the key. The one that chose to be. Nobody made them the magic ones. They are open. Always open for new things. But the one with the ma magic ones, they're not open to new things. And not open to new things. So one is called life. And I don't know what you call the other. I'll let you fill in the blank. But just to mention those few thoughts that reflect on pain and suffering. What about those of you who are going to wake up this morning and you're wondering, oh, today will you get a job? You're wondering, today will you get an increase? There are those of you who are wondering, when, can you go to the doctor today? Are you really going to be requiring something that's very expensive? Are you? And if so, what are you going to do? Is there something, a safety net out there for you? All of these things are everyday situations that happens in life. And sometimes when we say, make ourselves foolproof, make ourselves so that if, if it can't happen, it's going to happen. So do something to make it that it can't happen. And that's almost like waving the magic wand. The option, it appears, needs to be there for a person to exercise choice. And so all of the crazy stuff that's going on in the world today is an expression. It's an exercise of choice. And though the refrain from engaging in those particular kinds of choices. They are themselves making a choice. And here in the midst, you have the separate choices at odds with one another. Oof. And one would have 
as a solution, civil war. Another will have is God watching and what is God going to do? Why you would ask that? Say, because I'm not going to do what I'm not supposed to. What is that? You wake up every morning as confused as that. And people expect that if someone comes to you and tell you that you can live without all of these problems and you're going to listen, how can you? With all this turmoil in between. Thank you.